and welcome to the session on project staffing and project scheduling. Before we move forward, here is the learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to uniquely identify the importance of project staffing and the needs of project scheduling. The software staffing, cost estimation and the project scheduling are very important steps in software planning and management activity. The proper and the cost effective software product depends on proper staff organization, team structure. The different types of models which are available for estimating project cost which can make the diff software budget efficient and cost effective. Project scheduling is another important activity which plays an important role in proper execution of software leading to achieving the required milestones in the software project management plan. A milestone is a predefined goal which is expected to be achieved during the project plan and it indicates how far the project has progressed. The project staffing is important in software scheduling which defines the organization of different project teams used in scheduling. It also includes the identification of right person for handling the project. It also includes the identification of the right person for handling the project, assignment of pro required responsibilities to the selected team. Different project may require different skilled and knowledge, the individuals as well as the team scheduling. A software project manager usually takes the responsibility of accomplishing the software project. He needs to identify good experienced software engineers for the project. He is also accountable for choosing their team with proper organization. The proper selection of software engineers reflects the overall productivity of the entire software team. The structure of working team during the development process is very important. The team structure means the arrangement of individual project teams. The project team must be arranged in such a way that they work in an organized manner and complete the project as a unit. There are several possible ways in which the individual project teams can be organized. The team structure always makes a desired impact on the productivity and the quality. Based on the type and the complexity of the project, the project manager needs to organize his team in different ways. There are basically three formal team structures, the chief programmer team, egoless team and controlled decentralized team organizations. Let us see one by one. Chief Programmer Team Here in this team structure, there is a senior engineer who affords the technical leadership for the project. He is designed as the chief programmer of the team. He makes the partitions of the task into many smaller tasks and allocates them to different team members under his leadership. He is the only one person who will communicate with their project members. Any other project member expect him has no authority to communicate with each other during the working of the project. He is also responsible for verification and integration of the products developed by its different team members. The structure of the chief programmer team is shown in this diagram. This team structure is most competent when the work is small and when the task is well understood. However, this team structure may lead to lower team moral because the constant supervisions of the chief. The original assessment of team members may also be suppressed. This team structure is subject to a single point of failure since the chief programmer may either 
leave the organization or becomes unavailable for some reasons during the progress of the task. Egoless team. The egoless team structure very simple and does not follow any formal team hierarchy. You can see the structure in this diagram. The main aim to involve each and every member of the team in any decision making during the development process of the proposed product. A manager provides the administrative leadership. Different members of the group may provide technical leadership in different time. Here the decisions are made by common agreement among the team members. In this structure, every member's suggestions are taken into account. Due to these characteristics, it is also often termed as democratic team structure. This team structure is suitable for handling complex and difficult project with many technical challenges. Control decentralized team. The controlled decentralized team mixes the ideas from both the egoless organization and the chief programmer team organization. The control decentralized team organization you can see in this particular diagram. This team structure consists of project leader who has a group of senior programmer. Each of the senior programmer again has the group of junior programmer under his leadership. The project leader communicates with the senior programmers and the senior programmers communicate with the junior programmers. The senior leaders are not allowed to communicate among themselves for decision making. The junior programmers can communicate with them which in turn communicate with the senior programmer of their group. Project scheduling. The software project scheduling is an important project planning activity under the supervision of project manager. In order to schedule a project, a project manager needs to do some task. The first identify the necessary activities needed to complete the project. Second subdivide each activity into different needed tasks. Decide the dependency among the different tasks. Establish the time durations for the identified tasks. Represent the information in the form of activity network. Decide the starting and the ending date of the different various tasks. Determine the critical path which means that the path which represents the duration of the project. Work breakdown structure. The work breakdown structure WBS is used to subdivide the initially identified activities of the project into smaller sub activities. The lowest level of the sub activities is known as the task in WBS which is to be carried out in order to solve the problem. Each node in this tree is represented by a rectangle. For each of these decomposed sub activities has an arrow from its parent activity. The main project represents the root of the WBS. The work breakdown structure of a demo activity is shown in the diagram. You can see in the diagram. The main activity is composed of activities A, B, C, D and E respectively. The activity B is again decomposed into sub activities B1 and B2 as shown in the diagram. Similarly, the activity C is again decomposed into sub activities C1 and C2. The WBS helps the project manager to monitor the overall project. Activity network an activity network representation shows different activities involved in the projects, the interdependencies among them, and also the estimated duration for each of the activities in the proposed project. In the estimation of duration for the activities, the different project managers uses their experiences and past ideas. The activity network representation of demo is shown in this particular diagram. Critical path method. The critical path method is an operational research 
technique to determine slack times for tasks a path in the activity network representation is a set of consecutive nodes and the edges from start node to finish node the critical path is the sequence of activities with the longest duration a delay in any of these particular activities will result in delay for the whole project the critical task is one of where the slack time is zero and the critical path is the only contains the critical task from start node to finish node there are some parameters which are going to be calculated during the critical path methods the first minimum time which is the maximum of all paths from start node to finish node earliest start time it is the time of task which is maximum of all the paths from the start node to this particular node latest start time it is the difference between the the minimum time mt and the maximum of all the paths from start node to finish node the earliest finish time the eft of the task is the sum of the est and the duration of the task latest finish time the latest finish time of a task is the sum of lst and the duration of the task the slack time it is the total time then a task can be delayed so st is calculated as the difference of lst and the est or the lft and the eft here is my reference thank you